Welcome to ITU Telecom World 2016 in Bangkok, Thailand. I'm very pleased to be joined today by Burendra Sasmal, who is CEO of Suba Info Solutions. Burendra, thank you very much for being with us in the studio today. Thank you very much. Thanks uh, to be here. I'd like to start off by asking you uh, about the value of being here at ITU Telecom World. This is your Suba's uh, uh, Info Solutions first time exhibiting here. So perhaps you could tell us a little bit about your impressions and, and why it's been important for you to be here. Uh, yes, uh, Suba has been uh, ICT industry uh, quite a long time now. And we are focused to be uh, business, at, business in government centric and regulator centric. And I think ITU as a uh, uh, as an organization more connected with the government uh, regulators and the private and SMEs. And that's enabled us to be participate in ITU and where we can meet a lot of uh, regulatory bodies and even government bodies. And uh, I think uh, Suba has been uh, coming last two, three years and it's uh, enabling us to connecting and linking with those person, those those people. And it's not only also meeting those, also sharing the knowledges, what we have, what we learn in the worldwide forums. So it's a really benefiting from uh, both the sides. Now you've got quite a lot of experience in, uh, in rural West Africa. I wanted to find out what are the principal challenges of building networks in rural West Africa and what solutions can you offer? You know, rural Africa, uh, the challenges is uh, electricity. And Africa, if you want to connect the rural people with the mainstream, uh, and you need a, a mobile penetration over there, and which is challenging for big companies to put a big you know, tower over there, which need a lot of powers. And therefore, they could not afford to put all the times over towers, which we come out with the solar systems, BTS systems, which is uh, moreover a cost effective and also works in solar, uh, so which can enable to the people to connect with the mainstream. And we have been connected 130 villages in Africa uh, giving these solutions. That, that's one challenge. Second challenge is also sometimes uh, in the each, each, uh, each terrain of African may not be able to connect it uh, because of geographical situations. So you may need to invest some more kind of a technology innovations, how the terrain can be connected over there. Maybe you need a not one tower, maybe five towers, maybe small, small tower, which is cost effective model. So we do, do those kind of uh, enabling solutions over there. And you have a suggestion about how governments can increase tax revenues and operate to profits, do you? Right. Oh, that's, that's a, uh, another stream altogether. In fact, uh, uh, Suba has uh, started doing R&D in 2006 and seven onwards to how to enable uh, African countries to generate uh, the revenues, you know, or more revenue, increase their more revenues. And any government, it's having a challenges to running a government without collecting the taxes properly or revenue properly. I think uh, that's uh, uh, specifically we focus on telecom areas because we feel that uh, telecom revenues is such, such things which many tax authorities or many regulators may not understand. It's, it's very intangible, sometimes cannot visible, it cannot see by the normal people. That area we come out the solutions we call RATMS, which normally focus on uh, revenue monitoring and assurance where we take care of the fraud management where fraud leakages of the revenues, we try to minimize that leakages. And where many countries has been benefited, even Guinea Conakry, one of the example, we are saving more than a million dollar every month. And Ghana, we are saving more than 10 million dollar every month. So which when you minimize the leakages, your uh, revenue goes increase, government revenue goes increase. So that's our flag, flagship product and that's the way we focus on across Africa. And how important is collaboration for Suba? And uh, perhaps you could share some examples of that. Okay, I think uh, collaboration is very important point. Uh, any uh, startups or any SMEs, and we've been to be SMEs and just trying to transforming ourselves to SMEs to MNCs, and uh, uh, we work with various partners from worldwide partners from Germany, uh, from India, from US. Uh, why we work is because we have a certain solutions and to impact more to giving a end results to customers. We need more solution which can be integrated with our solutions. So we think strategically who can be our strategic partners and we decided those areas of strategic partnerships. And it's very, very important to long-term journey, for long-term journey. If you want to be long-term, it's required to be good partner with you. Very nice as well, thank you very much indeed. Thank you very much, thanks a lot, thank you.